know. It's very odd. It's going to be interesting to see where it goes today. Let's hope this is a win for real justice in this country and that the people get confidence that there is some justice in our justice system again. Jonathan. Ray, thank you. The LG and JC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a bizarre world we live in, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's just hard to make sense of all of this. It's very hard to make sense of all of this. So just that thing of the actual charges were dropped because they were not um, properly carried out and yet we are up for resisting the charges. Yeah, resisting the charges were dropped. Yeah, this, uh, trespass was so, dropped but we were still resisting arrest and you were still... But we weren't arrested. Assaulting. And the assault, so, 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10. Been struggling with that five one out a bit. Ten. Yeah. 5 out of 10? Yeah. Yeah. So we see today... Yeah. Uh, what our justice system really is still like in New yeah. Zealand. And what's interesting is a friend of mine wrote last night, the people win either way, and I'm wondering what she meant by that. I think it is that it has brought attention to the way the police yeah. are behaving yeah. in New Zealand, yeah. in abusing New Zealanders. It's brought massive attention to that, which is why it's not just about us. It's about something much bigger. Yeah. It's about, we have to get back to a New Zealand where the police respect the people and treat the people with respect. Yeah. We have our staff reporter over here. Would you like to talk to us, Caroline? Oh, it'd be really nice to talk Come to you. Come on in camera. Caroline, I, I spoke to about um, Barry Young's data and she absolutely denied that it is tr the truth. Yeah. And I was trying to explain to you, it's the Ministry of Health data. So it has to be the truth because it's from the Ministry of Health. Oh, I lost your card. I'll take another copy of your card. Yeah. I was a little nonplussed when you said you didn't believe it. But I'd be really happy to travel to Invercargill yeah, yeah. and actually um, go down and look at the evidence. I've contacted my friends there and there are many new graves down there. And we've just heard, brilliant. Yeah, and you're aware of Rory Nan's case? That's really alarming that that chemist, the name of the chemist where, which jabbed Rory is now being suppressed by the media. So I'd love to be in touch with you on that, Caroline. Great. So when we were last here, that was really interesting. I just said to Caroline, um, you know, Barry Young's data is really all we need. We don't need an inquiry in this country. His data is so important worldwide. It is, it is the only country, we think, where one man has built the database for the whole of the health system, for the pay-per-view, and it shows excess deaths. And that data stands, a, an Italian professor was saying, I'm doing talks in Italy on Barry Young's data. It is so important. Mm -hmm. And here in New Zealand, it's being totally suppressed. Yeah. The other interesting one about our case is, isn't it fascinating? We know now over a thousand CCTV cameras in the airport. They can get they parcels. Can, they can film yeah. a cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> and yet the footage of us being attacked. They can't film an assault. Jonathan being swung tackled. Mm -hmm me being thrown to the ground after having had my arms high in the air, all of that was excluded, all of that, all of that. And why would the police be so keen to suppress that footage? Here's another thing I found out since we were last here. The airport instructed Russell McVeigh to stand up and say there will be no access to that other footage. Why would they instruct the most expensive law firm in the country to stop the, the, the people who were assaulted from having a fair fight in the courts, from having access to footage that would have shown who assaulted who? It certainly wasn't that. It was a major assault by a police officer. Why would they be so keen to suppress that if the police are acting fairly? So there are many, many questions today I pray the judge, a good judge, would be asking the police why that footage was not available. She's a new judge. We've looked her up. We've looked up some past cases. I trust that her uh, conscience of being in this office of judge will make her really think hard about her name and her reputation and that she's there to perform an honourable job on behalf of true justice in this country. Funnily enough, I was at law school with the Chief Justice. 
And she was a gentle soul. Her parents were very decent teachers, I remember. She was quiet and she was hardworking. And I always thought she was a woman of integrity. So maybe she's had a word in the, in the ear of the judge that we have today. We certainly need that. We need a justice system that the people can have confidence in again. So let's see what happens. Jonathan, any comments from you? I don't really have much to say, Liz. I think you've said it all. Other than, you know, we just want to show the truth and this is what happened to us. We put it out there as the public opinion. Do you think it's right what happened to us or not? I want to reiterate what Matthew said after the last appearance, that it is odd that there's so much real crime in this country. And we've had two days on yep. two people who are clearly not criminal. Yep. And let's remind everyone, we were assaulted. I think it was within three to five seconds of the police arriving that I was assaulted. And Jonathan, you would have been the same. So we were, it was all done and dusted within 18 seconds. That Famously quoted assaulted. by Officer Postlewaite, you can do a lot in 18 seconds. That, that was drew chilling. gasps from the, uh, from the audience in the courtroom. You can do a lot in 18 seconds from the police. What I would love is to be able to ask all of you for your comments afterwards, because yeah. I think this is something for the people of New Zealand. Yeah. And rather than us comment afterwards, I'd like you all to just this really feel what goes on there and give us some comments when we yeah. come out. Because this really matters for the people, not just of New Zealand, but of the world. There has been some kind of sanctioning of police violence on the individual. And I think many individuals go through this traumatic experience of being in court and just want to hide away. And we can relate to that. Yeah. But we can't hide away. We have to say this must stop. It is people that matter. E tangata, e tangata, e tangata. We have that in the haka. It's the people that matter. And yet the people are being treated as if we're some kind of cockroaches on this earth. I'm so over Jane Goodall, who I used to admire, treating us as if we are the are the carbon they want to get rid of. We matter. And when we are free to really communicate, we will build a much better world than they ever can offer us. These ghastly, polluted, corrupted overlords who are corrupting our political puppets. I really worry about the silence of Christopher Luxon. And I want everybody to look up the WHO pandemic treaty. Please, would you go on Free NZ Media on Rumble? There's an interview there with Andrew Bridgen, Dr. Meryl Nass, and Barry Young, and it's about the WHO pandemic treaty. We have till May the 27th to stand up and say, we need to really start sending a letter, and I'm going to put a prototype letter up to send to our Attorney General. Meryl Nass has got 22 Attorneys General in the United States in different states saying we will not go down with this WHO pandemic treaty, Joe, Joe Biden. We will not endorse it for our state. We have to resist. We have to stop it going into law. One other thing, Rachel Ruby. After this, we all need to turn our attention to beautiful Rachel. She was taken from Nelson to Christchurch prison. She's been kept in there for, I think, over three weeks. We must support Rachel and shine the same spotlight on police action there spraying her, chasing her, intimidating her. What I've heard from good sources is she's been uh, subject to sleep deprivation. An officer was going in, uh, a, a prison officer was going in and shining a torch in her eyes every hour to stop her getting sleep. They had a large machine outside her cell making a huge amount of noise. Sleep deprivation is a form of torture internationally acknowledged. It is absolutely brutal to treat this brave woman like this. And what is it with treating women so badly? I mean, men shouldn't be treated like this, but the women, the brutality of it all. Enough said. The people of New Zealand are waking up. Yep. That's Pike River. Yeah. If I were in government, the first thing I would do is get the most excellent teachers for our students and the best quality police. The very best, but we must have someone good at the helm of the police. A fish rots from the head down. We all, I think, endorse Dan Picknell's call for replacing Andrew Costa. At nearly $800,000 a year, this man has caused more trauma to New Zealanders. Why should he be paid from our taxes nearly $800,000 a year? It is just totally corrupting. 
and I don't believe he has the interests of the people anymore at, at heart. Former government, so why is he still there? Yep. Yes, I believe you it's the whole government, government thing, not just Andrew Costa, who's just a puppet, because the World Economic Forum actually did an assessment on New Zealand police, police right throughout the world, one to seven, and New Zealand came up number six for the World Economic Forum. So why would they be doing an assessment of all police? These police need to remember if you do this. Karma is a funny old thing, isn't it? Here we have John Key facing charges in the United States. And he was Mr. Teflon who flew up to meet Obama or Obama as somebody called him to me today. And he used to meet him in Hawaii for games of golf. And even back then I thought that's odd, a little country like New Zealand, John Key being so close to Obama, it's very odd. And now all these years later, we read in the papers today that there, there in America, he's up for potentially charges of insider trading. And there is an appeal in America. If anybody in New Zealand or abroad knows anything about John Key, please get in touch. So I did wonder today, I wonder if the same karmic bus will come around for the police who have so hurt and abused New Zealanders. I've just put another interview up. It was shocking. A, a man, nearly 70, and he sat in Freedom Village with a sign saying, we will remember them and you. And he pointed to the police and he pointed to the sign. He said nothing. Nick Wilson, his name is. And he pointed to someone behind the windows in Parliament, may have been Mallard. And very shortly thereafter, a group of police descended on him. He ended up with his ear ripped and bleeding. He ended up with being dragged upstairs by his back, those harsh concrete stairs, brutally handcuffed as we were, totally abused. He was taken to the police station where they said, oh my God, this man needs to go to the hospital. And when he was at the hospital and that ghastly question came, are you vaccinated? The woman at the desk left him sitting there for hours until he was a shaking mess from the shop. And I said, Nick, who looked after you? He went home and friends, real Kiwis, looked after him. What kind of a society are we having when this is happening? Not only that, this ghastly pepper spray, which isn't pepper spray, it's a chemical concoction, has caused blindness in one eye. He's built, he was building a boat and he has to sell that boat because he cannot do the fine work. He's a gorgeous man. Have a look on Free NZ Media on Rumble. And so this New Zealand, this case brings up this conversation. What are we going to tolerate as a society from our police? And when we the people say we are not tolerating your violence to the people anymore, we will change the leadership. We will change the societal acceptance of it. But we have to have these conversations widely now with everyone we know, because they come for us today. But tomorrow Liz. they'll come for someone Look, else. We have some guests. Gary, <laughs> Kat. Oh, 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 that's, that's amazing. amazing. Oh, you did it. <laughs>